All right. All right. So I'm tired. I'm exhausted, but we're pushing through. I just wanted to do this. Had it in my mind. We talked earlier. I can't wait to catch up on Doug's stream that I was on with I Know Kung Fu. One of the most fun things of this season with Dragon's Crossing Season 2 is the skills and building your hero around skills. And that's how you want to level them up with certain stats that work well with certain skills. Okay. And that's what we were talking about. We were rating the skills. I love it. I love Bob Nothing doing that. I know Kung Fu is a legend for Dragon's Crossing, always cranking out daily videos. And we got to see today we had the AMA big alpha dropped and I can't even remember it. I'm so my brain is fried. I feel like I've been at capacity here lately, but okay. But I need to do a live stream here because this Brooke right here on screen. Okay. She just reset her timer, just reset 12 minutes ago. And when we look at that leaderboard, she's on there. Okay. And we saw right after the AMA where alpha was dropped. Alpha plans for season two and or season three and season four coming up. Some good, awesome, needed, you know, changes, updates. Okay. So, and then after Bloater Punch had to go out of Discord because the Twitter town hall kind of fell through, then we, we all went to Discord. Okay. And they were doing it there, dropping the alpha. And he even repeated it. I don't think it was recorded, though. So I need to like, I didn't write it down. I did ask Bloater to repeat it. Didn't write it down. Well, after that ended, okay, um, <clears throat> we sat there and watched I Know Kung Fu take down Abaddon. And he said, you probably don't want to fight. And also Danimal confirmed it. Don't want to fight Abaddon at level 17 this season. You're at a huge disadvantage. So the higher the level, the more powerful you are as well. Again, and like the less powerful Abaddon is. And I think that's the case with all the bosses. And they do that to prevent you from going too soon into a tile somehow. If you can figure out a hack or something, they also, when you're overpowered on a tile, you know, that's the higher level on the tile, the easier it is to win. And easier it is to even to hit the enemy, I guess, and everything. Um, so that's where I'm, again, a kind of a proponent. I've been staying on tile three until level 13. I feel like that is, is almost a no-brainer. There might be times here and there where maybe you can go at level 12. But man, I just, my RNG, when I do that, I'm level 12. And even at level 13, I go to tile four, okay, and then... I constantly get the exclamation mark and I'm having to flee half the time. And then when I do battle, you're going to possibly, if you're not strong, super strong, get pounded. So then you got to go back and forth to heal. And it's just so inefficient with your quest versus staying in tile three. Okay. Until, <clears throat> until level 13. Yes, you are going to get some exclamation marks there of being too overpowered for the tile at level 12 and even at level 11 on occasion. Okay. But and I don't even bother battling the boss on tile three until I'm level 12, just for the sake of the XP, just for that alone. Okay. Because that XP at level 12, level 12 is the, the trickiest part of the game. You know, you might as well stay until level 16, I would think, on tile four. But maybe there's times when you go ahead and since you're going on, sometimes you beat the boss at level 15 on occasion. You might just want to go ahead and go and kind of lock yourself in on that leaderboard in case not everyone ends up killing Abaddon, which I think this season a lot more people will unless there's people that just give up on the game. Yeah, pumping it out, Noonie. I love you, man. Okay. And so if you're already there, you're level 15, you've got some health, you can battle. Maybe, you know, on tile <clears throat> and try and get that herbalist to open on tile five when you're at level 15. Otherwise, you might as well, you know, you can even leave that a little early and even battle some more on tile four at level 15. Okay. You can even battle a little bit on tile four if you want at level 16, I find can sometimes be good. Okay. But probably not. 
probably not there. You want to stay on Title Five, Level 16. Kind of depends on the whole situation, how it's all breaking down. This is Brooke. Brooke is currently on the leaderboard because Grapple, you know, I was like, hey, I just took on Abaddon whenever all the skills were stacking. So they fixed that where all the skills do not stack anymore on top of each other. They just reset every time you stack it over another skill, it'll just reset. And I'm a little bit worried that it does that now. And I I wanted to ask Bloater today, but I had so many questions to ask him. Yeah, tile five can be rough. So you just want to try and hopefully open up that herbalist. You always want to flee when there's an exclamation mark, or if there's that worry, wonder, worry, wonder, or whatever, adventurer, the worry adventurer or whatever, be careful with that guy. He'll wreck you hard. <laughs> Even at level 16, he can sometimes be a level 16 guy. The Prada can be pretty freaking brutal too. I like, you know, we like getting those minotaurs and that, the, the, uh, gargoyles. Okay. Those are the easier ones. Okay. So you got to be careful there. You know, you're probably better off fleeing when you're too overpowered to save the XP. The nice thing is on tile five, you've got that herbalist. Okay. So I've got Brooke right here who is in the top eight. She's number eight currently. All right. Now, She's at 270 quests, as you can see there. Does it help to zoom in one more? Let's see. Sometimes it gets a little out of whack. Okay. All right. And I also have Joel, who I think is like number four or five on here. Okay. But Brooke is doing a little... Yeah, I think Joel is right here at number five with 285 quests. He's... Oh, is he at level 16 still? Okay. Yeah, Brooke is way ahead as far as quest goes. And so she's had 270 quests. There's a chance I could jump ahead of, I know Kung Fu, everyone's saying don't battle, try and battle at level 17. You want to wait until level 18 to battle Abaddon. Okay, so here's the tricky part here. I think it's going to work out today. I've got eight of 12 XP, so I need four XP. I need a battle four times. Then, and I'm probably going to have to heal at least once there, maybe twice. We'll just play it on the safe side. Then there's going to be four more quests going to level and coming back. Then I'm probably going to have to heal again, at least one, maybe two. But that still leaves me with three more quests Okay, there could be something weird, RNG, where, <clears throat> you know, when you battle, you get a non-combat encounter. It still leaves me with, you know, at least two. I should be good with at least two, you know, non-combat encounters if that happens. I just need to battle four times and win. Heal, I even gave myself two heals there. So we'll see. She's pretty powerful. Hopefully I get something more powerful. I'm not probably quite ready to battle the boss, to be honest. If you look at these stats, you know, I like to have my arm. So another thing here. So she's got Berserk and Grapple. Berserk and Grapple, I feel like, go really well together. Because when you grapple, yes, you're taking away your own uh, parry. But you're taking away the enemy's parry. Paired with Berserk is a pretty good combo there, I think. Okay, um, so I don't know. I've had good success with grapple. I don't know why that is. So generally, when I have a hero like this, it's, I think, an absolute no-brainer without question. You pound, like, for a warrior, strength and quickness, and then if you get extra stats, I'm pounding agility normally. Okay, and, and so... <clears throat> With this hero, here's what I find. And with all heroes, I feel like the OP way to win the game is to have lots and lots of both armor mitigation and armor mit amount. Okay? When you have that, like last season, I had um, I had a, a ranger 
was my best ranger last season, even though he got out, like my best heroes got ended up getting wrecked last year. But when I did figure things out and go win, finally beat Abaddon, my heroes that did the best had lots of both armor mitt and armor mitt amount. When So this ranger I had, had 80, per, just about 80%, just shy of 80% armor mitt proc chance percentage. And then it was like 27 armor mitt amount, which was great because almost every time I get hit, it means it's going to hit my armor. And the 27 means it's going to offset almost all their damage. So you're almost invincible at that point. That's where all this other stuff, dodge, parry, crit is all can be huge and nice. But I kind of feel like armor, it's, it's more about getting lots of armor mitt. And unless you build differently, sometimes, you know, like a skill like Berserk, it is nice to have lots of crit, things like that, because, you know, you're dealing that extra damage. Okay. It pairs well, I feel like, with any skill like a rending blow that takes away their armor mitt. So if they're armor mitting you, you're still whacking them. Okay, when you when you're using berserk. Here I've got four berserks. That should last the bulk of you know the combat uh period there. I've got another hero, some other heroes that are in a little bit even better spot, I would say, than Brooke that have more potential than even Brooke, I would say, right now. But I do have a chance here to maybe slide right in under. I know Kung Fu's placement. Hopefully, I can get some good items. So we're going to see how this shakes out. When I come to the inventory, okay, she's got a ring. So I could use a vest and a helmet. She's got good boots, level 16 boots here. But I could use, it looks like, I mean, the vest is good and the helmet is good, but I could definitely use a better helmet, I think. And so we'll just have to see. I really needed these boots. That was timely. So I kind of hit exactly what I needed for this hero because I had level seven boots, real good level seven boots, but this was a big upgrade. Okay, so here we go. And I'm not, so the other really important thing is here because unlike last season where we had the no heal meta and we could just, if you use up your skills last season, you could just stop for the day, let the quests go, and you weren't, those quests weren't counted against you. Like, for example, you could try and go battle Abaddon last season. Hey, if at first you don't succeed, you're able to flee and get away. You could just wait and not do any more quests that day. If you used up a bunch of your skills, no big deal. You save all those other 14 skills or 14 quests that are counting against you. Uh-uh, not this season. Okay, so once you go and you use your skills for that day, you are screwed as far as that day. So you might as well battle out the day for the rest of the day. If like right now, let's say I were able, if I were ready to battle Abaddon right now, which yesterday my plan was just to go for it, try and battle him right off the bat and try to win right now, even though I know I'm not strong enough, but she's got enough quickness to where if it's not going so well early, I would just try and get out of there and flee. Okay. Well, I'm not going to do that. You know, and then I was just going to, okay, I'll just battle out the rest of my day and then I'll battle Abaddon tomorrow. That was my mindset. Well, now with everyone saying that Abaddon is much more powerful when you're level 17 than, you, than he is when you are level 18. Okay. So that is comes back to the critical decision making. Let's say... My hero did have my 80 armor mitigation proc chance and my 25 armor mitigation amount, okay? And I felt invincible and I could go take them on. I would, but this hero isn't that strong. I've got other warriors with better, you know, stats and everything. But, you know, my quickness, I guess, is only, only 38. But when I go level, I'll add some more a little bit more quickness. Maybe I can find an item in these next four battles. It is also tempting. It's tempting right now to go ahead and battle the daily quest. Okay, but I don't want to waste any skills. That's the hard part here. 
And because once you use the skill that day, it's gone. I would have to battle out my whole day and not face Avedon. But my goal here is to try and jump just ahead of I Know Kung Fu. It's possible. It's unlikely. We might be able to do it, though, right here, right now. So that's why I probably won't mess with the daily quest because I don't want to use a skill. And I we did try this earlier with a level 16 guy that was full health. And we ended up having to flee because didn't want to use a skill. We were about to go face the, the, the pre-boss before Abaddon. Okay. And so that didn't work out, but they do have better drop rates. So we'll see how this kind of shakes out, but it's tempting. What do you guys think? I don't know. Not a whole lot of people in the house later, maybe. Okay. Ooh, we need to we need to get the love spread to this project, guys. It's one of the most fun, addictive games in all of Web3. We need uh, people to know about it and actually play it, give it a shot because they're going to get hooked. They're going to love the game. It's not too much. It won't put people out too much. You can play 10 to 20 minutes a day with one hero, get, and then you're going to want to get a couple few more heroes and end up playing an hour a day, you know, and if you miss a day, it's not the end of the world. Okay. Okay, so it's tempting to go for it and fight the daily boss. I think she is strong enough to probably beat him. And it does guarantee that XP battle and not, you know, it would really suck if right here, right now, I get a whole bunch of non-combat encounters. That will really be frustrating. And it's possible. So that's one reason why to face the daily quest and get a better drop rate that is actually yesterday, I kind of, I think, ended the day yesterday fighting the daily boss with her, and I got those boots, and it was just perfect. That's exactly what she needed. She could use a better helmet a little bit, I think, and but it's okay. I'm probably good enough, even if I don't get any better items, probably good enough to take them on once I level up. So I don't know what to do here, if I should try the daily quest or not. So what I'm going to do is just... Start with the adventuring quest. I'm nervous. This game, this gets the adrenaline pumping. Ooh, it gets you going, baby. All right, so we're going to do on tile five, a regular quest here. And hopefully, ooh, I hate these guys. These guys are brutal, but she's strong enough, and I can't really afford to flee right now, I don't think. So let's just go. Attack, attack. We're going to breeze on through it. I should be fine. Yeah, she's she is a strong hero. Wow. She's looking good so far. Okay, let's go. No problemo. Don't even have to heal. That's great. Ooh. Boots with more quickness. Huh. But I don't know if I want to lose negative two armor mitt amount. It is nice having that agility for grapple. But I'd be losing not much on the armor mitt proc percentage, just a half of a percent. But losing two armor mitt amount is a lot. But these boots, if I can beat Abaddon, will be good to pass on. Okay. I probably... Ooh, you know what, though? That quickness, having four more quickness, she is a little low, and it does help. It does help Berserk. And having that agility will help Grapple. Ooh, I might... I might do that, but not, not right now. Okay, I'm going to hold off, but I might do that in case I do need to flee. I might want to have that extra quickness because she's only at 38 or 39 quickness, which is great. Actually, it's, compared to last season, I didn't have that. Okay, all right, all right. So now that's an XP and I don't have to heal. That's mission accomplished so far. I need three more XP. Let's go. Let's go. I A freaking brutal vampire. Are you kidding me? Oh, he's the chonker here. This is, I'm 163 health. We're going to go. He hit me for three, one. If I got a flea, I will. 20, and I haven't even touched him yet. 19, that's good. Eight, oh gosh, dang. He's got 73. I've got 114. All right. That's good, 16. 
Okay, now we're back on track here, baby. We're going to be good. Good. Come on. Yes. And I only have to heal once. I'm going to go ahead and probably do that. Huh. Probably do that. In case I have to face that bastard again. And then I'll still be good. I'll still be good to face Abaddon with just a one heal. I mean, I, I gave myself lots of heals in there to buffer like whether or not I can do this today. Yes, Bob Nothing. Let's go. He, Bob Nothing, I, I have such a high regard. Yeah, run before you have to. <laughs> okay, got it. Yeah, I know. So I was thinking flee, but see, here's the deal. I want to face Abaddon. Okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and heal for one. And, and I should still be good. I need two more XP. I've got 12 quests left. Okay. All right. Where's the... Uh, oh, leave. That's right. Leave. Okay. 179 health. I'm, all, I'm so nervous and slow when I play. It happened. It's happened again this season several times. Accidental clicks on the wrong thing. If there's one thing the team could maybe really look at, I would say, is B... They need like a confirm every time you're traveling a tile, confirm, travel again, confirm. I'm okay with that because like flea should be confirmed too. Cause I know Kung Fu it's happened to me one time where I accidentally hit flea and I had it in the bag. It was just about over and it happened to Kung Fu on stream <laughs> today. And that he was about to beat the sub boss. I think, yeah, the vampires are freaking scary. These guys have a lot of quickness. Hey, Bob, nothing. If you want to come on, I love you. Yeah, they've got a lot of quickness to so often die because you decided too late to flee. Good good point there. I was going to flee. I almost got to where I was going to flee already. I wasn't going to let myself, you know, unless he was way down on health, I wasn't going to let myself get too much below 100 XP or HP there before I flee. So I'm with you, Bob, nothing. I'm more thinking of last season, though. Last season... I would try and go up against those vampires, and it was disastrous. This hero is, man, she sure performs strong. I will say that. Even though her stats could be stronger, I feel like. I would love to get Bob Nothing on. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm getting you on, baby. Present, or no, invite Bob Nothing. Let's go. Going to come on the stream. Let's go. I need some Bob Nothing love in my life bob nothing is one of my favorite humans on earth i have to say bob nothing is a good dude and he can be my wingman any day let's go there's the link bob nothing okay so back to stream here we go okay so she's strong i mean she is solid for sure but she sure just, she just seems to play strong. And I probably would even be fine to do the daily quest. I think she was yesterday, but after what happened earlier where I had to flee on one of the daily quests, on a, on a really strong hero as well, but he was only level six. I've got a really good up and coming. He's now level 17. Ooh, he is just really strong. And he's got use less, fewer quests than Brooke here. Okay. So we're going for it again. Let's go. All right, baby. Okay, I hate these guys. Bob, nothing. Oh my gosh. Hey, what's up, Bubba? One of my favorite human beings on the planet. It's just me and you pretty much on the stream cracking me up. I don't know why Dragon's Crossing just doesn't. Anytime I do a stream on Dragon's Crossing, it just doesn't get a whole lot of love. I noticed. Um, I have to promote those out there hard to get any traction on those. I don't know why that is. I wish we could get more people into this game because it's awesome. I love you, man. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. I was actually uh, catching up on your other stream with uh, Kung Fu and Doug. Nice. Yeah, I, I had to leave for a few hours, um, but I came back. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll catch up on that later. I saw you went live on yes. a Twitter Discord or something, but Right. These things are tough to catch sometimes. I know, I know. So 
Now I need to catch up on that. I need to catch up on Brown Gent stream from Wednesday. I need yeah. to catch up on Six Intern. I need to catch up on Bogside Chats this week with Christian Peter, baby. Yeah, uh, I, saw, I saw a lot of those. Um, can't hmm? catch them all, man. It's tough, but I know. I just do the best we can. Those. Cruise through them. Okay, and I, you know, we hate the vampires. I this, I'll tell you, this this guy's a bastard. He is like he's so oh, hard to hit. He is overpowered as heck. What is I this? know he's he's like level fifteen or level sixteen sometimes. So he like he, he's like the monkey for uh, yeah. for for um zone four. Right. Or sometimes he's a low level, so it'll like trick you into fighting him if you're not uh -huh. onto so, it. I'll tell you what. I my conclusion now. Like I beat a few monkeys early on. It was like, okay, the bears are worse than. Hey, look at that! I beat. There you go. She is your girl, Brooke. Brooke is killing it so far. This is going. Splendid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should. Okay, so you're gonna have to burn one, right. two, heal one, two. You're gonna have to burn five quests to basically come back and fight. No, Abaddon. Yep. I have to do one more battle here to get the twelve six. So you you'll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll have a good shot at it. Yeah. And so I might end up beating, get you know, jumping ahead there. Of I know Kung Fu, who's a freaking legend. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've, I've been hearing that Warriors suck this season. Um, Not for I've, me. Yeah, yeah. This is your girl that you thought uh, has, has got all the berserk. Uh, yeah. We'll look at this sheet in a little bit. Go ahead. But and I got, this last I got one. some stronger Warriors than her. Let's break it down. Like all my warriors, I'm just breezing right through, kicking butt. Everyone else, it's like I'm having trouble. So let's so let's break it down in zone three because you got to go back there to level. Mm -hmm. we'll think about all your skills and all your strategy for Abaddon. Yes. Just don't use any skills. Yeah, that's right. I'm saving all my skills. That's like the hardest part of the season because once you start your day and use a skill, well, it's like, do you want to fight Abaddon? Probably no. not. <laughs> so then you got to burn through 15 more quests till the next day. That's what's really different about this season. And it makes it so interesting. Mm -hmm. doesn't it? And that's, what's interesting about the new NFT they spoiled today. in yes. AMA. while it does not give you a competitive advantage in terms of how the benchmark system works, mm -hmm. depending on how they utilize it, if you can apply it at any point, Yep. of your choosing right there are a lot of times especially once you get to the peaks where you're in a bad position where you have like three or four quests left and 20 or 30 hit points and you're like oh i gotta go back heal come yes. back fight Four. something i can't even beat a bear if i get one and it's that's horrible. the that is the point where if you use one of these 15 point stamina or experience no quest nfts yeah that you can actually gain an advantage because you were at an inflection point where none of your options were good because you had three or four quests and you oh needed to heal that's it, where that's where it matters it's happened like lots three of times. Or four times three or four times the last day where i'm just about dead i've got three quests left and i'm sitting there on tile you four. got no good options it's like what do you do you got no good options you use one of those things Right. So NFTs. How is that going to work? Did he talk about how that NFT he said thing? it gives you plus 15 NF, uh, quest points? Really? I don't know if you can use it at any point. Your day, though, my takeaway was that it would just reset your day early. It's like you could just maybe move your whole season. Maybe, maybe it doesn't work like that. But that was that was my one thought thinking about that is how you could use that for an advantage oh. because it doesn't give you the advantage otherwise based on how the quest mark or right. benchmark work and but also, maybe 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 that doesn't work what i just described but yeah or a it, smelter would do that too if it smelter, was yep. tile four he mentioned today it's going to be on tile one and then he said maybe on tile it wasn't four. it wasn't going to just be on tile one is what he said oh so it, yeah. i i would guess level four it, well he said that he thinks okay okay he tile that would make sense because yeah. everybody's dying, <laughs> struggling on, on tile four. The peak tile are... four is a freaking beat, just like we talked about. The yeah, hardest yeah. level in the game is at level 12. <laughs> I'm yeah. To get to 13 on either way you go. <laughs> it's like, yeah. 
I've had it go badly both ways and I have had it go well both ways. And I still find that it just goes better when I just stay on tile three until level 13 uh, to where even if it does go well on tile four, did I say 13 on tile? If it does go better on tile four, um, you know, one thing that was also interesting is that Kung Fu was saying he thinks that as you get to higher levels on those tiles, the drop rates drop. And I have thought that before, but I'm also, I think it might just be weird RNG because I've also had heroes staying on this tile three today, going ahead and staying there until level 13, even battling guys where I don't get the XP. I was getting some mm-hmm. good items. Um, items matter a lot. What's that? Items matter so it much. Is everything. It's everything. It's not everything. I mean, you can, you can do some stuff, but yeah, I'm. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Okay. Last battle. All right. Okay. This is. I like gargoyles, except he's arcane and he's level nineteen. But if I can keep my health up here, that's going to be huge. Twenty two. Let's go. 13. I'm beating them. 31. Look at this girl go. What the heck is it with her? Trying to wrangle you up some viewers in general. Oh, nice. Yeah. 27 crit. Like, dude, she just beat him and without taking a single hit. She might just be lucky. That's so (laughs) weird. I know. RNG. Ooh, look at that. Look at that one. Look at all that green. Let's see. Oh, big parry. Big, not big strength. No, yeah, but a it's, good armor. It's just anything green. She needed, but all the armor mitt amount. Oh yeah. But so here's what I found, and I got this from you last season. All thanks to Bob. Nothing, by the way, that just hit me just now. I remembered. Okay, the heroes that had, I had some heroes. They were pushing 80 or even over 80 armor mitt proc percentage. But I had one specific hero that had 80, just about, or 79. Okay. And then he had like 27 armor mitt amount. Mm-hmm. That combination, you're almost invincible. It's yeah, like, that's, that's a hell of a lot. It's like phenomenal. And so that armor mitt amount is huge. Even though the armor mitt proc percentage here is an... The parry obviously helps. Parry is nice. Having, yeah. Having lots of parry, dodge, and crit does not, in my book, compare to having lots of armor mitt amount combined with armor mitt proc percentage. What do you think well, there? I think against Abaddon, what you really don't want to happen, which almost happened to Kung Fu, which he stopped and talked about during his video, is for them to get a crit through without any defensive right. things going on. Right. So dodge, armor mitt chance, parry, all of this stacks. So mm-hmm. like as much as it, if you can get them all up there respectively, like you just really helps your parry and your armor mitt chance, which is yeah. awesome. Like you need one of those to go off if he's going to crit you. Yeah. Or or you're going to just get like 60 to the face or 70. Right. Like, like, that's what's going to ruin your run. That's what's going to kill your hero. That's going to make everybody very sad. Yeah. Um, so you really, it all stacks, so it all matters. Mm-hmm. Um, it so all matters, I, but I want it all. I want it all. I'm with you. So it's like a big plus here to have all this parry. Yeah, that's a really good item for you. Yeah. But so let's for look me, at, let's what, look at this. Parry's the most weight. Is it, when you're at like 80 to 85 armor mitt proc chance, and you can manage to get your armor mitigation amount close to 20 or above, mm-hmm. you're almost unbeatable. Like you could go face Abaddon without even using a skill. That's how it was last season on that Ranger I had. I just obliterated him because he, every time he hit me, it was always armor mitt, and armor mitt amount was so high. And because my armor mid amount was so much, but here being at 61 or almost 62% is okay. Not ideal. Mm-hmm. But it's a big, so up- you're, so you're yeah. all grapple, all berserk. Yeah. That makes sense to me. 
that's a good combo, I feel like. Yeah. Because I'm taking away his parry and then berserking him. You have a be- medium amount of agility. Second right. wind is done. I, th- I think these healing skills, by the way, I haven't looked at all the tiers again. I, you you might have covered this. I think the healing skills, for this season at least, are basically exclusively good on the peaks. They're bad before the peaks. They're bad after the peak Aww. where you have healers. They are very good at getting through those peak levels, and then they do nothing. Yeah. Everywhere else. So, yep. like, that's a really weird dynamic, by the yep. way. Yeah. Uh, Hang on. And they are, you know, they could come into play, but yeah, we kind of left them down in the C. So you have 12, 12 to 28 damage is a okay. little bit low. That's kind of the, although it's not too bad at 18. Hang on. Oh, you haven't leveled yet. And I need to go level. Okay. So treacherous peaks. You need to level. Yep. I'm so, dude, it's happening. I was going to look at your stats, but I thought you'd already leveled. Let's okay, see. I haven't leveled. So, Treacherous Peaks. You got to do it, yep. Okay, Foul Waste. Yep. <sighs> this, like, stresses Don't me Don't misclick. Every time. Adventuring Guild. You got it. Level up. All right. So, now we will be able to look at stuff. And, and also, my inventory. Is this the gal? There is one I could not figure out. I got this mythic two-handed weapon. And I don't normally like the two-handed weapons. This was not a great level up here. <laughs> okay, no, but, not a deal. But we'll take well, that. You take strength and quickness, right? In case I got to flee, you might need it. You you don't want to fail if you need it. Mm-hmm. And, and like then, ag- agility is cute, but um, <laughs> quickness right. quickness saves lives. Okay, but get this. Here's another dilemma. Okay, check out these boots here. I'm adding three agility and four quickness with these boots. Hey, see I'm, my trying to, I'm trying to catch up. I can't quite see it on Discord. Oh, are you on Discord watching this? Hang on. Okay. I'm, so I'm, I'm watching you on YouTube and Discord. And I'm now, okay, now I see the boots. All right. Okay. So the boots here, I'll zoom in. Does that help? Okay. Quickness, agility. So that matters for the two skills you're going to be spending. Right. And, but I'm losing. Charisma does not matter at all. Right. I'm losing two armor mitt amount, which mm-hmm. I hate that. But I don't think that matters that much. Especially now that I've got 26. It would take me to 24 is still really good. Yeah, I don't think that matters that much. Um, mm-hmm. I think you want the agility and quickness. Uh, for the skill. Let's and- look at your look at your character sheet real quick for... Yeah. Grapple damage, you might get an extra damage off of these three agility. Okay. Did that take up my damage? So you're at strength plus agility divided by 13 is 79 divided by 13. Okay. 79 divided by... It's too late at night for me to do that. Yeah, that's 6.07. So that's going to go to 6. So having three more agility. three less is not going to matter there. Mm. So that agility is not giving you an extra damage on your grapple. Not that it it's matters round, too much. Round up. It, it rounds. Okay. So that's, that's, that's 6.07 is going to go to 6. And losing that agility is not going to hurt you in okay. terms of damage. And then the quickness, not only will it help my chances to flee, it'll take my quickness to... 44 from 40. Yeah, so look at Berserk. Also quick. Helps berserk. Quickness divided by 5, it helps. It goes from 40 to 44. So mm. that'll go... Um, oh, yeah. That'll... I think that... No, that that's a percentage-wise. So only damage rounds, I think, because you can't do like 6.8 damage or whatever. It's uh-huh. either 6 or 7. But stuff like Okay, hero but armor stuff, mitigation. But stuff like parry or hero armor mitigation, I don't think that rounds. Yeah. So that would just help you a little bit. Um, yeah, so we're at like 30 minus 8%. So you're at like 22% penalty to um, yeah, to have my... But it's a percentage-wise. So 22% of 60 is like 13, 12 okay. and a half. 
So it's not that big of a problem. Like it's you're going from 61 to 50. Yeah. It's really not that bad. Berserk yeah. is not hurting you that much. Right. Late in the game. Right. Okay. So yeah, I think uh hmm. I think those two boots are close actually. Right. Because getting that that armor mitt amount is sneaky important, but it really yeah, it might matter. It, it only really comes into play. Yeah, I don't think the agility is helping you, and I don't think um, the quickness is helping you that much. That much. Although it could save your life. So it could. It could maybe. be the difference. And it could be the difference to just flee. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean by save your life. Right, right. It, and having that little bit help on the armor mitt when I'm berserking, who knows? It's less than 1%. So, I think I would stick with the boots you had already, but I think okay. it's extremely close. I think it's they're pretty equivalent at this point. Yeah, because Abaddon has around 40 or 50 quickness, doesn't he? Yeah, he has 40 regularly, 40. I believe. Okay. He's pretty much the same as last season in a lot of ways, or yeah. possibly gotta, every way. If you got a lean last season... But do they have? Did they take that away? Where no, they don't have those. Early? Oh, thank God! I hate that. Yes. Yeah, you don't need to worry about that. I was saying earlier. I well, fix that. But a lot of my best, my best runs were going against fatigued or <laughs> or stupid. <laughs> so I'm not I, sure. It's, it it doesn't really help us. I don't think. But anyway, well, see, I just hated having to worry. It was. It was. Plain. It felt cheesy. Yes, I it agree. Did. It was like, why not it just have it be uniform? Yeah. Well, they fixed that. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So I'm so, still debating between these boots because it still could be the difference between a flea. So you're at I okay. Don't. Your damage went up with that level up, by the it way. It did. Oh, nice. You were at 12 to 28, so that's nice. So you don't want to lose any strength because those two points put you over to another point. Okay. That's really good. Okay. Because that helps your berserk. You get doubled double time basically on the damage. Yeah. But don't mess with your strength. Yeah. And so as far as like, see, I still have this level 12 sword. Not and great. I still have this level 12 helmet. That That's does pretty get, good. You know, the armor mitt isn't great, but gallery, it's all right. It's these pretty good. These boots. What to do? I'd stick with what you got. Okay. Personally. Because what else do I have? Oh, well, those are three strength. You don't want to get rid of those. Yeah, five strength actually. It's yeah, good. that's gonna that's gonna cost you a damage. You don't want to do that. Done. Decision so, made. Yep, I think we're good on gear. I think we're good on skills. Do you have one point left over? Mm-hmm. Maybe you would do one of your grapples into an overhand chop. We could, but see, I hate overhand chop. I don't know what it is. Well, first luck with it for some reason. We can do the math. I think it does more damage by one. Does it? Is it good, yeah, though, to so. put him in a parry reduction when I'm berserking, though? Uh, I guess. Yeah, maybe. But you can mix in an overhand chop, like when Grapple and Berserk are, are still going. That's true. That's the one thing I would probably do, is do one overhand chop... Okay. Two I'm grapples, because those last for two rounds after. Yeah. And it, it will... That will do... Pull up your thing real quick. It will do more damage, because my agility... So you're at nine damage from the overhand chop. It's D6 plus nine, whereas the agility is a D6 plus 62 plus... By the way. That's pretty close, actually. Is it might really? do more damage. Yeah, I might just do grapple actually. I think they're about the same. Okay. Okay, really? 62 yeah. plus 18. No, oh, that's a 19 in it. 19. 19. And that divided by 13. Divided by 13. Oh no, that's six. Okay. So you want it's two damage difference. So I would take the overhand chop over a grapple. Mm. It's a two damage difference. I don't yeah. think the parry matters that much. Well, but see what, what they were saying, like what I know Kung Fu was saying, is that Berserk wasn't working well for him because when he used Berserk and then he was hitting him, they were mitigating so much of the damage. Mm -hmm. 
And that it takes some of that mitigation. The parry, the parry helps against that for sure. Hey, go all grapples, all grapples, all berserks. Let's go, Grady Mood. That Let's you go. know what? I think this is the same gal last season. That's it was not very best very average. She was very average at best last season. The two worst skills in the game was grapple and berserk, and that was the first <laughs> time I could finally, after dying like four or five times to Abaddon. I just said, "F it," went and and got got a brutal, not deadly, but brutal. Uh -huh. Abaddon with 245 health. She didn't even have 200 health. <laughs> okay, last season, I was like, "Screw it!" Took him on and berserked and grappled him, and that was my first victory. <laughs> I was like, "That that's let's why." Let's go. Let's not mess it up. So this is what's working for her. I yeah. think you're ready. I like your gear. I like your layout. Okay, I think you're ready. You're uh, three Ooh. quests away. Okay, so now I'm going back to the Treacherous Peaks, right? Let's go. Right. And the Herbalist is there. We're going to want to mm -hmm. heal. Back to the Dark Tower. Click. Yep, you got to heal one. Got to heal one, even though I don't really... You should probably heal one. Yeah, it would be nuts not to. <laughs> because her I health. mean, this is... This is, this, this yeah. is all the marbles. This is a big deal. This is for all the marbles. Yeah. This is the warrior who's proven everybody wrong. Yeah, that's Brooke, 30. Brooke baddie. Let's go. 30, 30 health oh, Brooke, right here. You a baddie. Okay, and this will get me 200. now ahead nice. of I Know Kung Fu because at the leaderboard, we are at 280 quests. He's at 283. Let's go. Let's go. All right, wow. but but let's emotionally pre prepare for the poss possibility that this all goes terribly and we have to flee. <laughs> <laughs> are we emotionally prepared, Grady? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, we are. Let's not get up into it and don't even think about it and just <laughs> click buttons, right? Are you right, with me? So I'm, I'm being like armchair armchair psychologist here. Absolutely. I need it. Berserking. I need it in my life. So we're berserking. Confirm. Then we're attacking. Let's go. Zero damage. Okay, we clanked it. Big yep. big armor. Yes. Now we grapple. Permit. Okay, now we're grappling. And the next turn we do nothing. And the next turn we do nothing. Here's a huge question though. Okay, attack. Here's what's wild. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. So we didn't we Armor didn't do mitt. anything there, but he didn't have his skill, fortunately, or he would have yeah. done 60. Yeah. So we we if that's going to happen, now's the time and we did 20. Uh huh. And then now we skip around because we skip we've got around, eight. and then next turn we berserk, and the turn after we grapple. Mm -hmm. Right. But here's here's though. I have there's a problem What's that I'm that? wondering about, and here it is. Oh my gosh, he is. Okay. Me. It's not great. Not great. Okay. Here's the problem: is that it says for one round, if I use the skill, it goes away. No, it's no, no. That's not how it works. Okay, I didn't think you berserk, so. You berserk right now, and you have your berserk up for six total rounds, like you wanted. Right, I right. I, did we confirm that? Because yes. or does it like reset it? Okay, we did. Did we confirm that? If you berserk right now, you will not lose any rounds of coverage. Good, thank God. So, did someone actually did clarify that? Right? Did someone? Because I was wondering, did it just reset it? Oh, see how it's gone. I guess I might have told you wrong. Did it reset that? Because if the new not skill stacking, this is that's right. how it used to work, is the way I said right. it. But it, I do it, see what you're saying. And we'll see when you attack, I guess. Yeah, you know, if I hit 38, that seems like a yeah, great hit. It worked. It, it worked. worked. Confirmation, okay. it worked. So that's like a visual bug where it disappears. Yep. It's just a visual bug since the. Just over the last day. Okay. I'm glad I didn't just I talk you out of a bad idea. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now you got three more rounds. That was an awesome round, obviously. You really needed it. Yeah. Now we're behind, but we can grapple. Yep. Grapple that fool. All right. You need some misses. You need the armament. I only got Aries. damage on that freaking grapple. But did his damage go down? Uh, yeah, I think it so. did. Okay, I don't know. Okay, 
All right. Attack. I'm sure it did. Here we go, baby. Here we go. We got Jazz Crypto in the house. We got LT. Let's go. In the house. Yes, let's go. We need this to turn around. 30. Nice. Two good rounds in a row. That's yeah, another plus 20. Needed. So now we take a turn off if we're doing the maximizing or. You're, you're right. We're right? taking a turn off. Yep. That's but it. if we're not going to, if we don't think we're going to use all the. Okay. Good idea. Okay. So now he's got his skill, by the way. Uh -huh. So now you need to berserk. Yeah. Because it's just one round, and that's also one round. And that's it's going to make it disappear, but you're still going to get the plus 20. Yep. We like, did. Like we just that. did it. We did. This is the optimal way to go. Yes. Okay. So but berserk. you're. Yep. All you're, right, at, you're even, and you've still got quite a lot of skills. Yep. But he just used Deluge of Misery. Not Which great. Is, Right. Messes with your defense. Oh man. And I already messes with a lot of stuff. Parry. <laughs> dodge. It messes with your defense, right? Yeah. So this is where, you know, those last two rounds went really well where he missed. Mm -hmm. So we might take a little damage here, but yeah. 20 and that's, 42. That's great. great result. Great. Phenomenal. Now we can grapple again. Now we grapple again. So we're at one of the last grapple. Yep. Let's get a good grapple roll this time. <laughs> oh, baby. Hit him. All right. Okay, Let's he went go. from 79 to 69. So I'm at 103. He's at 69, baby. Nice. Deluge of misery. Come on. Don't hurt Keep it. Hitting. Come on, Brooke. Yo. You're yes. a beast. She never misses. Baby. She's got a everybody's <laughs> chance to hit except for Brooke's is... Not and, good. And her I, don't, I don't even want to jinx you right now. I'm not talking about it. I know. Her but increase. She hits. It, dude. This berserk increase, damage is, is only point five. It's only 0.5 increase. Yeah, yeah. Let's get, a, let's get her dead. Then I'll offer some more analysis. Okay, okay. All right. So, so now, you could even consider doing a berserk a turn early since he's so close. Well, it's Just, yeah, we need to. It's due. Or wait, is it? You did grapple last turn, right? Yeah, so you're right. you, you, it would be it would be a pause this turn. You might as well just pause. I'll save it. Yeah, it's I'll not save it. it doesn't matter. Uh huh. But you're doing great. Okay, let's go, Brooke. Because because we get that round without the yeah. armor negation, right? Okay, attack. Yes. Hey, we we clanked it, parried we got, it. We berserk. got rid of his bang. Okay, now we can use berserk again. Last berserk, and just got to hit him once or twice more, probably mm -hmm. twice. Probably, but who knows? And you're a legend. You're number one, baby. Let's go. Attack. Okay. That's all right. Attack. <laughs> okay. Awkward. Let's uh, go. Last attack. berserk round. Attack. Is it the last? No, we got this round and next round is still berserk. Okay. Yep. And the armor mitt against me is only this round, though. Okay. Attack. Let's go, Brooke. Brooke. Okay, we're we're blocking. Yep. We got one one last round of berserk this damage. Is it. But that's okay. Eight. Okay. Wait, did she get the 20? She did. He he mitigated. The armor okay. mitigated it. Yeah. All right, so she just needs to not completely get suck. wrecked here. <laughs> Let's go, no Brooke. Skills. I believe you can't you no can't run at this point. Out. We're just we're just going for it, right? Uh-huh. You got left. to. Okay. You got him. Let's go. Uh, Let's go! Take and I guess we all get this level 20 item, whatever this thing is. <laughs> yes! My kids are going to be Number so one. Stoked. Dude, my kids. Number one. Now we look at this. Oh, man. I should be playing the volume, but <laughs> it would mess up our volume. And, and thus, you have destroyed me based on nothing but rumor and feeling. Uh, Addison. Is it Addison? What? Okay. A Edosian. A Ed resident of, of Edos. Edosian. Uh -huh. Oh, Edosian. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. You have slain me. Me, the creature older than your race, in so-called righteous anger. Look in the mirror. Addison. <laughs> yes, I meddled with Edos, but... 
I was only permitted to because of the greed and power hunger of the powerful humans. This is the same spiel of last season, I think, yeah. uh, who lived in your city, Adeasans. <laughs> <laughs> Saying this word a lot. <laughs> uh huh. Who now seek to bend this world to their will as I have. And who is that behind you? Acheron, my brother, the famous meddler, a fence sitter. I go on to the dark in front of you, brother. I doubt your other siblings will leave Horizon alone after what has just happened here. Let's go. Ooh, more. Close my brother's eyes, or close my brother's eyes for him, child of Eidos. His worries are over, but the evil he has done remains. The powerful and for now unnamed or yeah, unnamed of Eidos invited him in and caused your land to be ripped from its reality. Abaddon is vanquished, but I think he was right. Our family will not enjoy hearing of what has transpired on horizon. There are fearful days ahead. So the lure is so awesome. I think Bloater Punch has so much in mind. He probably has already written a novel on this thing. Okay, Dragon's Crossing will awaken from its slumber. You have bested a great danger to Horizon and brought some semblance of safety to this small corner of your new home. Still, you must be wary of threats from within and all those still left without. You have come a long way and done much good. For that alone, you shall be remembered. Go now, rest. There will be much to do in days to come. Let's go. Okay. Baby. Yes. Are you still there, Bob? Nothing. Yeah, man. Okay. I was I was shouting you out in the Discord saying oh. there's a new rank one. Check out your uh oh. check out your cup. I gotta text my kids. I gotta do it now. They're gonna be they wanted to be here. Um, <laughs> but okay. I'm gonna text them this picture. Check out the leaderboard. And then I'm going to do a picture of the leaderboard. Because you're 281, right? Kung Fu was 283. Yep. Nice. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, indeed. Oh, baby. You did it, Bubba. Good job. So that won't last. So how, <laughs> how, <laughs> yeah, how but... low do you think it's going to go this season? I don't know. I think we've we I think we set the metal meta a little bit with kung fu. Yeah. Uh where, you know, defensive skills are out. It's all offense, all nuking. Well, custom poisons, fireball, but, firebolt, firebolt, I was, fireball, I think that'll be the winner. Okay, that'll but be thinking, like let's say you've got a mage with like pushing 75% armor mitt amount and then you're kind of lacking or 75% armor mitt proc percentage and then you're a little bit low on the armor mitt amount i feel like i feel like man that force shield can really almost make you invincible the whole freaking battle <laughs> if you you know mm -hmm. if that lines yeah. up what are your thoughts there? That's I was kind of surprised he didn't like because I think for shield on the right hero, or even even if your armor mitt and stuff is even lower. I mean, it's yeah, like I think I'm a little down on for shield. Okay, I think it's low B, high C personally, but I haven't list. I haven't list. I didn't make it that far into your video, so yeah, you know, I had your to points go. on it, but I had to go because I was just live for an hour with flu. Right on. <laughs> And then I did this, so I I missed out on most of the rankings myself. Um, hmm. Dang, dude, dude, congrats! Let's go. And I was I was hoping that maybe I would do this today and be the first one. Right. <laughs> Earlier when I was talking with the kids, but then we sat there and watched. I know Kung Fu do it. And it was like, Ooh, oh yeah. Baby. And yeah, there's gonna they're gonna start dropping a lot of them now. I but think so. yeah, yeah, if I had to guess, it's gonna be a mage with firebolt, fireball, charisma who hit a lot of persuasions. Yeah. 
Okay. That would be my guess and didn't have anything terrible happen to him. Right. Because that may be, uh, the, when you're pounding that charisma and you're getting all those extra persuades. Yeah. Throughout, that it, seems like the most upside for a build, but you know, warrior, you just proved it. And I you know got, berserk berserk. You, you said it was awesome. I agreed. Uh, it's definitely RNG heavy and your girl Brooke came through. No doubt yeah. about it. Yep. She she didn't have plus five percent to hit. By the way, she just made it work. <laughs> no, she did it at all. Look, <laughs> just made it work. Her hey, chance to hit wrong with that. Her chance to hit is point zero five. Point five more than everybody else. <laughs> I had other then, heroes. I've got some heroes that are like at five percent. Yeah, yeah, me too. Six percent even. So yeah, there's a lot of RNG. Your girl Brooke had the had the eye of the tiger this season. She did a great job. You're gonna take her back. How many quests you got? You're gonna take her back and switch yeah, out the gear straight back to the shared stash now. Yep, because she's got some awesome gear that you can uh kind of snowball this. And yeah. like while, while your lower level guys uh -huh. are leveling up in the peaks, leveling yes. up in the labyrinth, um, in the dark tower, like if they ever get cockatus, you want it, right? If they ever get what? The mage. Cockatus. Oh, the arm wrestler. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. she goes back and puts some awesome gear there. And then your other heroes, now that they're yep. grinding through the peaks, grinding through the dark tower, if they ever get that cockatus event, That's you, right. just, you just opt to do it and you just saved two or three quests. Right. And then load them up and go kill the bad guy, win the video game, and they'll probably do better than this one, potentially. I think so. Right. I think so. So, and I do have at least one other warrior. I ended the day with a warrior today that's already level 17 and he's stronger than her with only 255 quests used. Nice. But I couldn't open the freaking tile. I saved my skills the whole day and I couldn't open the tile for the semi boss. So, I couldn't fight it, the semi boss today. It literally. The whole day goes by and that damn tile would not open. Mm. And I was saving my skills, saving my skills, saving my skills. Ugh. And and I'll show you. It's furred. I got to show you furred. Let's see it. Right here, furred. Oh, Jake, yeah. Baby, my boy. <laughs> okay, and I didn't even realize till yesterday. I was like, wait a second. So he's guy, 17? He's got level 17 at level 255, and he wasn't even on my radar all season. Well, you, still, you still need four more experience, right? To get I'd, to 18? I don't see how a level 17 warrior is going to beat the boss. Yeah, right. Because they have, they have this I've hidden... Only, I've only used 255 quests. Yeah, yeah. But you could yeah. definitely get there in, you know, 10 or so quests, potentially. Right. So he has. You need item. four XP, uh, probably be more like fifteen, but you could maybe do it if you find. Oh, you don't have. You don't even have the mini boss. I know. I could. No, it's going to take him two days. It's going to take him thirty. It's going to take him two days. It's going to take thirty-ish. But maybe on, to, like after I battle with him tonight, um, you know, beat the and and look at his. If I remember right. His stats were okay. They're actually about comparable, mm -hmm. but he hasn't been on this tile as long, so maybe he could get some good stuff. He doesn't have berserk. I can add it. I've got, I've got another. He berserk. Probably wants it, right? I mean, you I'm gotta, pretty... you gotta get through the damage, right? Yeah. And I guess your your question on this guy is whether you load blade form parries or not. Yep, because they are pretty good. But oh, did I did I use them? I did. I had two of them and used them. Mm. I think he wants berserk though, right? With forty quickness. Yeah, his base quickness is really low. That's why I didn't mm. give it. Um, but it doesn't even matter because you're always just going to give quickness. <laughs> so it it hit me today. Who cares that his base quickness starts low? Yeah, I think for the Warriors, in order to do a good a good, a good score on Abaddon, it pretty much has to be Berserk or 
mastered blow, which is basically uh, overhand chop plus like 30%. Oh. It's not that great. Right. It's not that great, but like I think the meta is kind of in that you just want to direct damage Abaddon. Mm hmm. So, like these defensive skills, that's that's the one thing I would probably change with the tier list is like stuff like blade form parry and sly yeah. evasion. As awesome as they are on paper, like the way this meta has kind of turned out, yeah, is that. You really just want to direct damage the boss. One one thing that's interesting with Sly Evasion combined with Herbal Knowledge, yeah, is that that's if you've got enough dodge percentage, that you could be pushed. and with Blade Form. I mean, Blade Form works now. You can get up to a hundred and right. parry everything, but Where you're you just do so little damage. Though a lot of times with the Warrior, uh -huh. that where the you're not going to win a get a turn. You're not going to win a fight that takes 20 turns. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what you set up if you're not doing damage with Berserk. Yeah. Or, uh, you know, Overhand Chop or Mastered Blow if you have, you know. Right. If you have it available, which is not very available. But that's kind of my thought is that the direct damage, just like last season, I think it's very good for these boss fights again, which yeah. we saw with Kung Fu. With uh, custom poisons, with which we saw with you with Berserk. Yep, we did. We saw it. And that's ultimate. not quite direct damage. Berserk isn't direct damage, but it's the best warrior has. Yeah. My only pushback is that if you have a ton of armor mitt and armor mitt amount, you're almost invincible. Almost. Like, I, I mean, mean, he can get you, if he gets you once for 60 damage, though, like, it all falls apart. And he's just going to chip you away with your parry and stuff. Well, but if your armor mitt is 85%, let's just say. Well, he does 20 to 40. So your 21 armor mitt, he's going to chip you down. Right. Um, if he crits you, you're in trouble. Yeah, but he has to do it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know that the well, warrior. I mean, if anybody's going to do it, the warrior's going to win a 20 turn fight with Abaddon. But yeah, I don't know if that's. <laughs> I don't know how smart that is to like as a strategy compared to what you just did. Right. See, last season I, I remember just with that archer or that ranger, I was just like, I could just go forever, never have to heal. Like right at the end when I finally equipped myself with all those items, I was just an absolute machine. It was just like I felt like I could have beat Abaddon without even using a skill. It's just every time. It would be like so low damage if he even hit me at all. And it was just phenomenal having that. I could go into any battle with so much confidence that I wasn't going to take much damage. Um, I think it just kind of depends on your build a little bit. But you're right. The meta is to have lots of damage hard and fast. And that's where even a grapple... Every two rounds, the whole time, you're just giving them lots of damage the whole time. <laughs> and it's mm -hmm. just it's going because it's only four skill points. You can use more. And yeah. I kind of wonder if Grapple plus Berserk is better than Berserk plus Bladeform Parry, honestly. Yeah. Maybe. Probably not, but I think they're comparable. Mm -hmm. It depends. Yeah. But anyways, I got to get going, Bubba. I love you so much, Bob. Nothing. You're a legend in my book. Like you're a legend. You're number one in the charts. Oh, that's gonna last less than a day. Tweet, tweet it out then. <laughs> Take a picture. It'll last longer. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, All right, buddy. We'll see me down at like number five, baby. <laughs> All right, buddy. <laughs> it I go bed. Too last. Okay, I love you, man. Take care, Bob. Nothing and Crypto Grady out. Love you guys.